Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. And we're back on Stevie's map. This one is Sherwood Park. And this is uh, a newer version of the game. And so, consequently, I could not update it. I had to start the game over. Uh, what Stevie has done is he's added some fixes to the game and changed a few things. And so... He did say that there was no way to uh, to keep playing, that I had to start over, so I had to create a new game. What I've done, though, is I have went out and tried to get close as, as close as I could to where I left off in Episode 3. So what I did was I finished um, collecting the straw off of Field 1. If you remember, I had harvested Field 1 and I was harvesting field 3 and field 12. So what I did was I finished field 1, I gathered up all the straw, I finished field 3, ga gathered up all the straw on that, and I was just getting ready to go back to field 12, which is not my farm. It belongs to somebody else, but I was starting to do the corn on it, and I was about halfway through with that. So we're going to continue on with that, and you will see there is a few discrepancies. I have a little bit more money than I had at the end of Episode 3. And that's because I purchased some equipment in on that version that I was playing that I haven't purchased here. And that will bring that money back down. I, pur I purchased a, a tractor, if you remember. I haven't done that yet in this version. I purchased this Blunk, the Fent 936. And I haven't done that yet in this version. So, so that's why I have a little bit more money than I had before. The other thing that I decided was I'm not going to mess with animals right at the moment. Although I do have a few animals, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think you start off with a few animals. Let's see. Okay, I have no sheep. Uh, I have my rooster that you get with the game. And I have no cows. But there are some... Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, we don't. We don't have any animals. So that's good. Okay, so uh, if you remember in the previous episode, I was putting grain into the seed master. Well, I don't have animals, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sell it because I need the money. I'd rather buy fields and or new equipment so that's what I'm going to do also you'll notice that the uh, tanker that I bought in the last episode is not here I didn't buy that either so that being said let's get on with it I need to rent a harvester so I'm going to rent let's see because I still want that corn all right, what's going on? Harvesters, come on, harvesters, give me a harvester. I want to rent that guy right there. And then I need to rent a header for that. And I'm going to be doing corn, so I'll do that. Just going to do the default color. Okay, and then we'll get back onto that field. Let me go pick that up. I do have a tractor setting out here that I haven't started yet, that, along with that equipment there. But let's just do this first. Get rid of that hood. Okay, so I've got um, a cedar here, I think, and that uh, case tractor. Why that's not on the farm, I don't know. It It is part of the game as far as I can tell, because it was there when I loaded this game up. What Stevie has said uh, in his, on his Facebook page, that there were some issues that he, ha that he wanted to fix. One of them was the uh, course play issue. He has fixed that. He also has uh, made a mod 
if you remember, you could add the um, mud mod to this thing, the terrain mod. Well, the terrain mod that I had on here did a number of different things. Besides making it muddy, it also uh, did the wither wheels. Well, he made a version uh, to that you can download with the map uh, on his Facebook page that has the mud only. It doesn't have any other components of the terrain mod, which are the, um, well, the, the tractor bouncing and all that kind of stuff. That's not there. So oh, the only thing it does is, is throw up a little mud. And so I've done that too. So I don't have wither wheels on this map anymore. One of the things I did add though was a new mod that I showed in the last episode of Oklahoma in which I put this field status mod in. You'll notice I own field one and two, or one and three, and field one is not seeded. I did take the uh, straw off of it, as I said. Has been fertilized, has been seeded, hasn't been anything. So, why it's showing that there's windrow on there, I'm not quite sure. Because I thought I gathered all the windrow off. And the same with field three, but that's beside the point. I'm giving that mod a try to see how it goes, and I just missed my turn. The other thing you're going to notice is I did put the drive tra um, the drivetrain mod in. I can never remember what the hell that thing's called. But I do have that back in. I fixed my wheel so that it works with it. And I'm not having the issues that I had before. So I am still uh, now able to do the four-wheel drive, front-wheel, you know, lock the front uh, trans, trans... What do they call that? Transaxle? I can lock the front axle, the rear axle, and four-wheel drive, all that kind of good stuff. Is that this combine that's making that squealy noise? Must be. I don't know if you noticed that when I got into this rig, the sound reduces. I had that on as part of the drivetrain mod. Um, and it, I don't know, in the last, one of the last episodes I used that on, it didn't work. Seems to be working now, so I don't know what the deal is with that. And let's see, what else? As I mentioned in the last episode of Oklahoma, which should have aired on Monday, this, um, I have a new version, a new developer's version of uh, course play and also of auto combine, or as I call it, auto wash. All right, now what am I looking for? I'm looking for, is this where I need to go? I don't think so. This isn't it, is it? Now that's, uh, that's canola. It isn't canola. Okay, I'm going through the canola field. All right, I got you. I'm gonna go through this field. See the mud fly? And I don't think I have, yeah, see, I don't have wither wheels on here anymore. So we're just gonna sneak through this field here. There's a number of other little bugs and things that were happening in this map that Stevie has fixed. So course, course play does now recognize the shapes of the fields.
All right, let's open up this header. Turn on auto wash. Now, as you notice, it's now version 4.1 RC2. This is a developer's version. Remember, if you do use a developer's uh, version of of a mod, it may it more than likely is gonna have bugs and not operate complete. Uh, it's a developer's version. They're working on the bugs. So I just I don't mind using developer's versions. I kind of like to see. Uh, what the latest thing is, so let's lower this thing, get it started. I'm just going to go right into the field, and then let's have this thing take off and see if it does its thing. And let's put this thing in group two. And then let's go find a truck and trailer, or tractor and trailer. Um, let's see, I'm going to be using that. Which is, uh, which one of these things has more power? I wonder if I shouldn't buy that tractor. Well, let's just use this one. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Let's, let's see which one of these things has the, uh, well, I'm in the wrong thing. There we go garage all right this one is 263 horsepower that one's 203 so this one's got a little bit more horsepower let's use it I didn't think the engine was running and where is my trailer there it is All right, let's head to our field. Yeah, it is working. Um, let's see here. Which way do we need to go? I think we're going this way. Yeah, there's that yellow field over there. I think it's the same one anyway. Now, I am borrowing the crop off of field number, whatever field that is. It doesn't belong to me. But I want to I want to have some chaff available for when I do get into the animals. Let's throw up a little mud here. All right, let's put some four wheel drive on this thing. Give it a little more grip. All right, kick this pucky puppy in the butt. Yeah, I decided if um, 
if I want to put the wither wheels on, I can just do it through the this drivetrain mod. All right, we're going to park this thing right here for now, and we need to go get this puppy. Now, that thing there, what does it plant? Let's go take a look. At the very least, we can take it to the farm. All right, so this thing does wheat. It does wheat. What else does it do? Uh, wheat, barley, canola, grass, whatever that is. Oats, I believe. I don't know what that is. Rye. Okay, so it does what we need to do. Let's go. It's not the one I normally use, but I don't have any money to buy the one I normally use, so... We're going to take this puppy down to our fields. I can't remember whether this rig... Well, let's take a look. That one. With sowing machine, you can sow fields. Additionally, this machine offers the possibility to seed directly. Okay, so I don't have to cultivate with this. It cultivates while it's seeding, but it doesn't fertilize. So I'm still going to have to fertilize manually or afterwards. I can't remember what the width on this thing is. Now I think I have to cross two bridges to get home, if I remember right. I'm trying to remember the lay of the map. I didn't play it very much. Uh, tractor crossing sign. Look out for the rogue tractors. I'm going to buy that field right there. It doesn't belong to me, but it's, it's, it adjoins my farm. Okay, now let's see. Oh, I need seed, don't I? All right, where's my seed at? I don't know if that's it or not. Oh, it's in the tanks. Oh, I'm in the silos. Okay, there's the seeds. Right there. And I'm going to do... I think I'm just going to do... The regular. I'll do some uh, wheat, I suppose. Uh, 
I'm gonna do canola. Let's do a cash crop. Yeah, let's see if we can do course play with this. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. All right, now let's see. How is this going to work? We're going to do field work, generate a course. Um, this is field one. And let's see what that looks like. Okay, it looks like it takes the shape okay. So let's see what we can do. I wonder if it's going to try. To I wonder if it's going to try to go through that berm right there. Well, I can't worry about it. I just have to try it and see what happens. Okay, so let's see. Let's get the width of this thing. It's only 8.9 meters. We're going to start in the northwest corner. Northeast. Pardon me. Northeast. We're going to be heading south. And we'll activate that. Generate the course. Seed field one. And let's see how this is going to work. I'm afraid it's going to try to go over that berm. That's what I'm worried about. But let's find out here. Oh, this is not right. I should be on this one right here, seating. Oh, it's got those stupid ridge markers. Dang it, I hate those. Ridge marker Z. Yeah, I don't want that. All right, so far so good. Oh, shoot. Come on. No. All right, there we go. Those damn things turned off. I don't like them. And then I need to find out what we have for fertilizer. If it's a spray or it's a spreader. Okay, I guess that's okay for now. Well, so far this thing's working okay, up and down. Just doesn't have a very widespread, does it? Let's see what this thing. Put this on auto scan. See what it does.
Well, we just hit a snag. Now I'm stuck. Um, all right. Let's turn these things on. See if we can get out of this mess. Now that's funny because if you look down here, I had all those axles turned on and they turned themselves off. How did that happen? It's still in four wheel drive, but I hit those two just like that. How did it get turned off? I'm pretty sure I did. See, it turns himself off. Why did it do that? Crazy. Is it something that Courseplay is doing? And I notice that Courseplay, the new version, is over here instead of over here. I wonder what that's about. All right, this isn't gonna be good. I think once I get past this one little area here, it should straighten out because uh, the rest of this particular field is kind of straight, kind of, not really, but it's too bad they don't have an auto tractor that works as well as the auto combine. The new version, the new developer's version of Auto Combine seems to be doing a pretty good job for me. I used it a little bit in uh, the Oklahoma map, or on the Oklahoma map, and it seemed to work fairly well. I might have used a smaller tractor for this, but so far it seems to be doing okay. Where's it going? I didn't make it turn that way. It turned that way itself. Interesting. Why did it do that? Where is it going? Now that's weird. Why is it doing that? Not just missed that one little patch. Um, let's see. It looks like the the crone. Now that's interesting. It looks like the trailer picked up some chaff. I didn't set up a. How did it do that? That's crazy. I need to go check on that. I don't dare leave this thing by by himself, though. Wonder if I could have done a uh, 
I wonder if I could have done a headland on this. If that would have worked. Quickly go check on that other tractor. How did that get? Oh, that guy got close enough. I forget that it really shoots quite a ways, doesn't it? And this thing's almost full. All right, got to get back to our tractor. Oh, geez. Is he going to hit the tree? Yes. Is he going to pull his way out? Yes. Good job. Good job, good job. So I got back from vacation. I made a quick video. Uh, I got back Friday night. Unhooked the trailer. and We had to pack in the rain. It was pretty nice weather except for the last day. The last day we got uh, rained on quite a little bit. So when I went to pack up on Friday to come home we ended up getting quite wet so when I get home Friday night Friday afternoon and we unloaded the trailer a little bit it was a long trip so we were kind of tired we didn't do too much but I did unload the trailer, got some of the stuff off of it, or out of it, that was wet, get it, tried to get it dried out. And I made one video, uh, the Oklahoma one, and it's Sunday, right, as I am recording this one, and let me see what's going on here, alright. Yeah, Sunday night is kind of late, but I didn't want to wait. I wanted to try to get an episode ready. And what am I doing? What is it doing? Oh, I hope it's not just cultivating. So it's kind of late and I'm kind of tired, if you can't notice. I'm sure you do. But I wanted to get an episode going here. And I wanted to do this one right away because it's an it's it's a map I played three episodes on, but I had to start it completely over again, so I wanted to get on right away and make sure everything was working right. So it's kind of like after midnight right now and I'm really beat. Alright, let's see if this thing will take on where it's supposed to. Well, kind of. It thinks it's in the right way. I'm going to have to come back and get this. But I'm, in, I'm interested to find out what it's going to do here. Is it going to go straight? And am I going to have to come back and get that? I'll bet I am. That's okay. Let's go back and check on this guy. All right, let's put him in group three and we'll put this one in group two. It was already in group two. Good enough. Fair enough. Let's see. That's where is the combine? It's coming around that way. We'll go ahead and catch up with this guy. Fill this thing up.
Ah, oh, we're full already. All right, back to the farm we go. Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to the farm we go. Now, if I remember right, this opens in where yes, it does. Yeah, I should I should purchase that blunt again. You know what I need to do though? I'm wasting time here. I should uh, I should set up a tractor to sell that wheat. Well, we got wheat and barley in the, well the two farms that we actually own. Problem is I only have one trailer, so. I'm going to have to probably rent equipment, equipment to do it. Where was my gate? Did I miss my gate? Uh, I did, didn't I? Well, there it is. Or there is a gate. I don't know if it's the one I was looking for. Yeah, it is. Tossing up some mud here, though. Don't get stuck. See if we can make it up this hill. I don't think the driveway is muddy, so we should be okay. Just have to wait for the gate, though. Open sesame. And let's see, where is the chaff? This is compost. Uh, manure. There's chaff right there. Hey, you're dumping on the wrong side. But it seems to be going where it needs to go. That's all that matters, right? Alright, let's see what we've got in grain here. Okay, looks like we've got... Uh, wheat, we've got 96,000... And barley, we have 51,000. So, let's see. Um, where do we want to sell at? Uh oh, uh oh, something's slipping. Shoot. He hit a tree. Go back at it. All right, so where do we need to sell this stuff? Let's see. If we do wheat, um, BGA version six, beef, bio burner, chicken, goose, compost sales, dairy. Dairy may what's H milk? Uh grain dryer five seventy eight Midland bulk five ninety six. Alright. Anybody remember where the grain dryer was? Um it's over by the bio place, isn't it? 
Let's see. Let's drive up here. Oh, somebody said I needed to bag it. I'm not quite sure if I know how to do that, but let's just see what we've got. All right, so we're going to do wheat. And then let's look at the map. Okay, so the grain dryer. Chicken goose grain dryers right up here by the compost sales by the garden center. Let me see if I can find that comment that somebody told me to bag the grain. Yeah, bag, bag the grain the next time at the place where the greenhouses are. The place where the greenhouses are. Bag the grain. Okay. Where were the greenhouses? Okay, you're not talking about that greenhouse over there, are you? Probably not. Um, how do we get out of this place? Bag the grain. Oh, shoot. Tractor stuck again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's trying to work his way out of it, but... Alright, let's just see if we can get this... Do this a little bit different here. This is kind of a tough field, isn't it? Alright, let's see if we can find this place. The place where the greenhouses are. Um... Alright. Bio burner, Midland bulk, greenhouses. Was that down at the BGA V6? Let's go down there and take a look. Man, I don't know if this is going to pull it that far. Didn't I sell it? I think the first time I sold it at the train station. Are they telling me to to uh, to dry it first and then bag it? I wonder if that's the case. Then I got to go back and dry it first. And that was this way. That was over by the garden center, wasn't it? By the way, I was uh, reading on the Facebook page, Stevie's, the mod author's uh, Facebook page, and he said these, these fixes that he made on this map will, will probably be the only fixes he's going to make to the map. And there won't be any more updates. And one of the reasons he's, is that uh, Farming Simulator 2017 should be coming out this fall. I don't know if he wants to put that much work into this farm uh, just to start a new game. So that the map may or may not work on. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know that much about what they're going to be doing to. Farming Simulator 2017, what it's going to look like. I try not to get too involved with... Uh-oh, I just missed my turn. I try not to get too much into that kind of thing. There are other people that do that, and I kind of like to wait and see what it's going to be all about. 
That way, I'm either not disappointed or... You know, sometimes you can look at what all oh, this new map is going to do this and it's going to do that. and then Or game, that is. And then it comes out and you're a little disappointed. And get your hopes up that it's going to be something that's not. If that makes any sense. Alrighty. This is not where the greenhouses are, but I think this is where the grain dryer is. So... So we're going to do this. See if I can get around this corner here. Let's dump our drink grain here. And I remember in the last uh, three episodes, I put the grain in here, I let it dry, I got the grain, and all I did was run it around here and sell it. And I think what they're telling me to, or suggesting that I do, in that comment that I was talking about, is to take it over and and once it's dry and um, and bag it however that works I'm stuck again this isn't working all that well is it I didn't really think it would work perfectly but I didn't necessarily want to hold its hand either where in the hell am I? Why am I on field number three? I jumped fields. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Come on, Drive Mod, do your thing. That's what you got you for. Alright, so back to this. We gotta get up and get our chaff. Also, I'm trying to think of placeables that I can put on this map. I'm trying to think of something that I will need. There are a couple places where I... Uh, the mod author left open places so that you could put placeable mods. I may put a, bi a biogas mod in because this map doesn't have one. Pretty sure. take a look at the start uh, maybe this isn't the one yeah I don't know I thought I read someplace that there wasn't a biogas per se on there maybe I'm thinking of a different one it might be Oklahoma That's right, because I think there's something on the map that's BGA-6 or something. BGA, that's biogas, isn't it? So I'm probably thinking of Oklahoma. Now, I know it takes some time for that grain to dry. 
And I don't know if I can mix grains. Can I put barley in over the over the wheat? Does it does it discriminate? Okay, now there's where I think they're talking about. No, that's the lumber mill. Where's the BGA? Maybe it's up here. All right, here's the BGA. And Okay, so we can sell liquid manure here. This isn't what they're talking about. I think I know where they're talking. Right over across this bridge. Right here. Yeah, I think this is where they're talking about because there's your, there's the uh, farms they're talking about, the hot houses. I think it's right here. This is what they're telling me to do. Instead of selling it like I did the last time, I dry it, bring it over here and bag it and then sell it, sell the bags. I think that's what they're suggesting I do. So, anyway. Let me jump out of here. Okay, there's manure. Do we sell it there? Uh, this is something. Let's see. What is this? Resources. Compost. Compost bags. Oh, interesting. Alright, so we can bring compost here. And this is... Yeah, we need water and compost. Okay. So I need compost. I need to start making compost and start these machines up. And there's something sold over here. Pallet goods. Okay, so we sell pallet goods here, which would probably be stuff from that, I'm assuming. Is that cabbage? Cabbage or lettuce? Oh, look, it's a gold coin. We're getting rich. All right, so yeah, we're going to have to play with this. I don't quite know how it works. We'll figure it out. I got to get back. And it looks like perhaps the cedar's doing better. The crone is getting full, so I got to get back. And let's see, can we take a shortcut up the hill here to get to that field? I don't know. I don't know if this is a shortcut or not. Thank God the trailer's empty, huh? There's our combine. All right, let's see how fast this thing's gonna fill me up. Fill me up, buttercup. Man, he's full. And with that, I think I'll call it an episode. Uh, when I come back, we'll finish this. Finish that seeding. And we'll sell some more products. See if we can come up with enough money. I want to buy that other field as soon as I can. So that's going to be my first goal. We own field number one. I want to buy either field number two or field number four. Field number four is right adjacent to our farm. So I don't know how that's going to happen. Uh, whether I can borrow that much money or what, but uh, 
that field is a million two hundred forty-seven thousand. Eh, eh, eh. Two, even two is over a million. Uh, it's gonna probably be a while, but that's my goal: make enough money to do that. So I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you had fun. Share it with you. Have a friend. Like it if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. And happy farming.